text in a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, this is a very simple slide that I made with a, uh, with a title, and here in the second slide I have mentioned some text. Uh, I mentioned my e-lesson has many videos, and it has videos on 10 plus categories. And now I'll tell you uh, how to work with text in a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you need to just click on any text, and you'll see that this area is now highlighted. You can use it. Uh, this is the font type. Uh, this is the font size. You can increase or decrease the font from here, and you can use a clear all formatting. It's a kind of eraser. This is for bold, italic, underlining, across, strike through that is called, shadows, uh, decrease the font size, change case, and the, sorry, uh, increase and decrease the font size, changing the case, coloring, bullet point, numbering, all this gamut I have covered already in one of my videos, which is around 14 minutes in length. Uh, the name, uh, it is in the uh, Word, MS Word category. Uh, home tab that's the name of the video um, MS Word how to work uh, at the home tab how to use the home tab that's the name of the video it's in the MS Word category do go over there and watch this video I have covered this portion exclusively over there and then I'll come to this part now <coughs> this is the smart uh, shapes again you see, you click on any shape over here, say I click on this star, and then I click on my PowerPoint presentation slide, and then I'll be able to, see, insert a smart shape over here. It can be an arrow also, see, like this. So this is a very, very good tool, and a very important thing over here. You see this formatting which I've done over here? It's very simply done, and using this quick styles feature I'll take you through it see you just need to scroll over it roll over your mouse and the styling would change you can choose any slide of your t choice say let's take this one we'll keep this one so this is a very very good feature and you can use it over here also and next comes shape fill a very good tool when you are working with shapes say I've selected the star over here and I can change the color let's select this and let's fill the shape you see you can change the color to your choice uh, let's have something very very gaudy a red star <laughs> and uh, you can even actually work with the gradients you see you can color the gradients you can use the gradient sorry over here and more you can work with the texture see you can create unique PowerPoint presentations unique PowerPoint presentations see let's what about this fish <laughs> see we got a fish fossil uh, uh, <laughs> uh, fish fossil Twing, uh, it has become a tongue twister fish fossil okay good and you can give it effects see I'll show you certain effects uh, these are the effects that it can generate I'll click uh, you have to select something and then go to the effects part see it will give it a 3d effect see this is a shape again it will get a 3d effect a bevel you can simply check on these things I love this 3d effect see it looks like now 3d so there are so many effects that which are here. You can work on shadows. You can work on glow. Uh, we can, let's try giving it a red glow. See, we first we need to select it. Now we'll work on a glow. See, it will get this tinge. See. And now comes the find, replace, and select again editing tool. And again, I have covered it in my video, on, which is available in the MS Word category home tab. So again, that is covered exclusive, exclusively over there. So until the next video, it's goodbye from me. Uh, this is your ex this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Do not forget to share the video.